Hello everyone. This video is the continuation that how you can practice explicit enhancements in your program. So in the previous video, we learned how to create a enhancement point and we treated this program as SAP program and we created the explicit enhancement. Same way, now we will go for section. We will create an enhancement section and we will implement the enhancement section. Again, it's an additional learning in this video because you will come to know how SAP created the sections. In your program, you will also create the section in the same to same way. So I'll go to change mode of the program. We all know enhancement point and section are available at any line. Suppose I'm creating on 23rd number line. I'm going to add it. Enhancement operation, create option. Now, previously you created the enhancement point. Now we will create enhancement section. Suppose I'm saying Z EST enhancement section and I will give some serial number. We all know for enhancement point and section enhancement spot is the container. So I will choose enhancement spot. I am choosing same to same enhancement spot which we choose for point also. Now you can see we have a enhancement section available. Is it same to same which SAP provided? When you implemented in MM01, just see this is same to same. Enhancement section, name, enhancement spot. Enhancement section, name, enhancement spot. Do we have a end of enhancement section? Yes, we have a end of enhancement section. Now, next important point, if you remember, we have a default implementation of the enhancement section. Means we have a default logic in the enhancement section. Can we have a default logic in the enhancement section? Yes, we can write a code. Suppose I'm writing a default logic for the division of two numbers. Suppose I'm writing the division of two numbers. I'm checking the syntax and I'm activating. Now we have to treat this program as a SAP program. And whenever I'm running the program, I'm giving the input and this is the output of the program. We have default implementation is calling. Default implementation of enhancement section is calling. Now, we have to treat this program as SAP program. Now, what customer is saying? Customer comes up with the additional requirement. Customer is saying, if I am passing P input 2 is equal to 0, it means division of numbers is not allowed. So, in that case, please give me a message that you cannot go for P underscore input to as zero. See, as of now, what is happening? If I will give this zero also, if I am giving this input as zero, nothing, I'm getting a runtime error because 20 divided by zero is no, nothing because it's no result at all. But now what customer is saying, if I am giving the second input as zero, I should get a message that you cannot pass the second input as zero. So can we do this? Yes, but we cannot go for direct change because we are practicing the topic enhancements. So if I cannot go for direct change, can I implement this enhancement section? Yes. How to implement? 
I will click on to this enhance button. I will right click on enhancement section. I will go for create implementation. I will click on to create button. I will give some implementation name. Suppose I am saying ZIMPL. We are going for error handling. Suppose we are going for error handling. We'll go to provide the error. If second input is zero. I'm going for OK. I'm saving this as a local object. I'm selecting the implementation. And have you seen when we created the implementation of enhancement section, is the default implementation logic automatically coming into the implementation? Yes. If you remember previously, the same to same thing you did. When you implement the enhancement section, the default logic automatically came into the implementation. Now it is totally, totally your wish. Now this default implementation will not execute. Whatever you will do here, that logic will execute. Now this logic will not execute. Now we will simply, simply enhance this logic because this is the meaning of enhancement section you can change or replace the existing logic we are changing or replacing the existing logic so we will write if e underscore input 2 is equal to 0 so we will give a message simply that the second input cannot be zero. In the else part, same to same, it is dividing. We'll check the syntax and we will activate. Now, this logic will not execute. We replaced this logic with this logic. Now, if I am running the program, I am giving 20 or 0. So, if I am going for this, you can see there is no runtime error. And we got the message second input cannot be 0. So, this is the way how you can practice implicit enhancements and explicit enhancements in your own program. If you are trying in your own program, you will learn how to create enhancement point, how to create enhancement section, how default logic will be in the enhancement section. Yes, in the projects, we always, always have to deal with SAP things because we are going for enhancements and modifications into SAP logic. But from the practice point of view, you can practice into your own program. You can take any of the program and you will get to know all these learnings. So that's it in this video. Thank you.